He is known for being a French Catholic philosopher who helped to revive Thomas Aquinas for modern times. He is recognized for his influential role in the development and drafting of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He is Jacques Maritain, an author of more than 60 books and a prominent figure in various fields of philosophy. Jacques Maritain, a renowned French Catholic philosopher, was a man of profound intellectual curiosity and deep spiritual conviction. Born into a Protestant family, he initially identified as agnostic before finding solace in Catholicism in 1906. His journey towards Catholicism marked a significant turning point in his life, setting him on a path that would shape the course of his philosophical contributions. Maritain's impact extended far beyond the realm of academia. Throughout his prolific career, he authored over 60 books, delving into various branches of philosophy, including aesthetics, political theory, metaphysics, and the philosophy of science. However, it was his revival of the teachings of Thomas Aquinas for modern times that solidified his reputation as a prominent figure in philosophical discourse. One of Maritain's most notable achievements was his instrumental role in the drafting of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. His commitment to promoting human dignity and social justice resonated deeply with his Catholic faith, and his influence in this pivotal document continues to shape global conversations on human rights to this day. Despite his immense contributions, Maritain remained humble and declined the offer of becoming a lay cardinal by Pope Paul VI. His rejection showcased his unwavering commitment to intellectual integrity and his dedication to pursuing truth without any personal gain or recognition. Jacques Maritain's legacy endures as a testament to the power of faith and reason in shaping human understanding. His profound insights into various philosophical domains, coupled with his unwavering commitment to human rights, have left an indelible mark on both Catholic thought and the broader philosophical landscape. Jacques Maritain, a renowned philosopher and thinker, was born in Paris into a liberal Protestant family. Growing up, he attended the prestigious Lycée Henri IV and later pursued studies in the natural sciences at the Sorbonne. However, Maritain and his wife Risa soon became disillusioned with scientism, feeling that it failed to address the deeper existential questions of life. In 1901, feeling lost and desperate, Jacques and Risa made a pact to commit suicide if they could not find meaning within a year. Their lives took a profound turn when they attended lectures by Henri Bergson, a philosopher who critiqued scientism and offered a different perspective. Bergson's teachings dissolved their intellectual despair and sparked within them the sense of the absolute. Inspired by the writings of Lyon Bloy, the couple converted to Catholicism in 1906. Their faith deepened when Risa discovered the works of Thomas Aquinas, introduced to her by their spiritual advisor, Humbert Clarissac. She encouraged Jacques to explore Aquinas' writings, leading him to find insights and ideas he had believed in all along. Maritain's intellectual journey continued as he delved into the works of Aristotle and the Neothomists. He went on to teach at various institutions, such as the College Stanislas and the Institut Catholique de Paris, and received honorary doctorates in philosophy. In 1945, he served as the French ambassador to the Holy See, and later returned to Princeton University as a professor emeritus. In his later years, Maritain became a little brother of Jesus, living with the order in Toulouse, France. He also had an influence on the order of Saint Benedict as an oblate. Throughout his life, Maritain emphasized the importance of philosophy in understanding faith and the human experience, stating, philosophy is the servant of theology. Jacques and Risa Maritain are laid to rest in the cemetery of Kolbsheim, a small French village in Alsace. Their intellectual journey and unwavering pursuit of truth continue to inspire individuals in their own search for meaning and purpose in life. Jacques Maritain, a prominent philosopher, drew inspiration from Aristotle, Aquinas, and the Thomistic commentators, particularly John of St. Thomas. His philosophy was rooted in empirical evidence and a deep understanding of first principles. Maritain staunchly defended philosophy as a science, countering those who sought to undermine its importance, and he championed philosophy as the queen of sciences. In 1910, Maritain published an influential article titled Reason in Modern Science, where he cautioned against the growing tendency to elevate science to the status of a deity. He argued that the scientific method was encroaching upon the realm of reason and philosophy, overshadowing the humanities. Seven years later, Jacques was commissioned by a group of French bishops to write a series of textbooks for Catholic colleges and seminaries. Although he completed only one of these projects, titled Elements de Philosophie, in 1920, it became a widely used and respected text in many Catholic seminaries. During World War II, Maritain found himself at odds with the policies of the Vichy government. While teaching at the Pontifical Institute for Medieval Studies in Canada, he actively protested against their actions. He later moved to New York, 
where he became deeply engaged in rescue activities, aiding persecuted academics, including many Jewish scholars, and played a crucial role in establishing the École Libre de Hautes Etudes, a university in exile and a center of Gaullist resistance in the United States. After the war, Jacques Maritain sought to combat anti-Semitism. In a meeting with Pope Pius XII in 1946, he implored the Pope to denounce anti-Semitism officially, but unfortunately, his efforts were unsuccessful. Maritain's dedication to justice and equality continued to shape his work and activism. Today, the University of Notre Dame houses many of Maritain's papers, and it established the Jacques Maritain Center in 1957 to promote the study and research of his profound ideas. Additionally, the Circle d'Etudes Jacques and Risa Maritain, an association founded by the philosopher himself in 1962, focuses on translating, editing, and expanding upon Maritain's writings, ensuring that his legacy endures. Jacques Maritain, a renowned philosopher, believed that metaphysics is fundamental to understanding the world. According to Maritain, being is first apprehended implicitly in sense experience and is known in two ways. Through reflection on our judgments, we recognize that objects we perceive are existent. This recognition of being is the starting point for metaphysics, as without the intuition of being, one cannot truly delve into metaphysical inquiries. For Maritain, the intuition of being involves rising to the apprehension of existence itself. It is through this intuition that we can begin to understand the nature of reality. In his work, Existence and the Existent, Maritain explains that this intuition of being is essential for metaphysics, as it allows us to explore the fundamental aspects of existence. In light of the primacy of metaphysics, Maritain puts forward an epistemology he calls, critical realism. Unlike Kant's critical approach, which required a thorough critique of one's cognitive abilities before attaining knowledge, Maritain's epistemology is based on reason. He argues that epistemology is reflexive, meaning our theory of knowledge must be built upon the knowledge we have already attained. Maritain challenges the modern philosophical question of how we move from perception to knowledge, instead asking how our certitude is warranted by things and measured by an external existence. Maritain also criticizes idealism, which denies the universal scope of the first principles of identity, contradiction, and finality. By reducing these principles to mere laws of thought or language, idealism fails to recognize their significance in the realm of being. This, in turn, opens the door to contradictions being instantiated in reality. Building upon his account of being, Maritain's metaphysics extends to a critique of the philosophical aspects of modern science. Through analogy, he explores the existence and nature of God, drawing on both philosophical knowledge and mystical experience. In conclusion, Jacques Maritain's philosophy emphasizes the importance of metaphysics as the foundation for understanding reality. His concept of the intuition of being and his epistemology of critical realism provide us with valuable tools to navigate the complexities of knowledge and existence in our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.